Hello Rust developers and welcome to another video of Rust questions and answers. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to help this user with this question how to create a launch file for a URDF file. So basically the user wants to spawn a robot in a gazebo simulation. Okay, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the, answer, the question of the user. So basically the user has a robot described in a URDF file and he wants to spawn this robot in a gazebo world, okay? In order to show how to solve that, I'm gonna use RDS, Rust Development Studio, provided by the construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using Rust DS for free, just following the link in the description of this video. So I'm gonna start creating a new Rust jack. I'm gonna call it launch URDF model in Gazebo. I'm gonna just copy and paste the same for the description. Let's create it, open the project and wait a few seconds until the environment is ready. There it is. So let's start creating a new package. So I'm gonna open the shell. Let's open also the IDE. I'm going to create a new package in my simulation workspace because I'm going to do this just to have a robot model. So let's start with get king create package, my robot URDF, Raspi and URDF. Okay, so let's create a folder called URDF and I'm going to place the model of my robot inside this folder. So in this case I'm using the two-wheeled robot which is a public project of the construct. You can also find the link for this repository at the description of the video. But for this for this this video I'm just gonna copy and paste the URDF model because we're not focusing about developing the robot but only just how to use the model which is already done okay so let's call it my two with robot urdf i'm gonna open let me copy and paste the model so basically we have here this is a an xml file and we have the description of the robot in this urdf file okay and let's start a new simulation so i have just started an empty simulation if you are not uh familiar with ROS DS. Uh, we have basically a database of many robots that you can use. They are ready to go, okay? Uh, but I started just an empty simulation because I want to spawn my own robot, okay? So here we have an empty world and Gazebo is running. Here we have it. And now in order to spawn our robot, I'm gonna create a new folder called launch and I'm going to create a launch file so spawn URDF I'm gonna call it you can call it whatever you prefer okay and the content of this file I'm gonna copy and paste and let let me explain line by line what we're doing here so basically we are starting uh, this is an XML file so it's good to have this instruction here then we open the launch tag Inside of the launch tag, we have only two other tags, which are mandatory. So first you have to define the robot description parameter in ROS parameter server. So you have to call it robot description. And this robot description, we have to fill it with the URDF content, okay? So instead of, of course, this is not uh, practical to describe the robot, you see that we have hundred of lines here so it's not nice to write everything here like ROS parameter value 
and then write the description of the robot. So instead we are just using a shell command. So cat and the address of the file. In this case, the name of the package is my robot urdf. And then following the package, we have urdf folder. And finally, the name of the robot file. So my chewed robot dot urdf. Okay. After that, we have to start this node, which is basically from gazebo ROS package, the type of the node, which means the executable file is spawn model. And I'm calling this node my bot spawn, but you can call it whatever you want. So we spawn robot urdf, for example, output screen. So we can see the, the output of this package of this executable in the shell file in the shell window and the arguments. So the URDF comes from the parameter robot description and the name of the model, my two wheeled robots, but you can also call it whatever you prefer. Okay. So basically that's it. Let's try to do it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to compile my package. So because we have to generate the header files for this package, let's wait a few seconds. And there it is. Now let's source and launch. Uh, what is the name of the package? My robot URDF. So my robot URDF and the name of the launch file is spawn URDF. Let's check the logs. We may have something. Enter and the robot should appear in a few seconds. There it is. As you can see, we, you have some log messages here because the robot interacts with gazebo. So gazebo uh, is starting some stuff. Okay. For example, for the laser plugging and the differential drive plugging. Okay. And the robots here, if you want to check, you can also check the topics of the robot. So we have command velocity, odometry, and the laser scan. Okay. So this is how you can spawn the robot, a URDF model in a gazebo world. Okay. And that's all for today. In the description of the video, you'll find a complete course about URDF and ROS basics. Both courses can help you to understand everything we have done in this video. Okay. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and question in the comments area. See you.